Hello, anybody here? Hey guys. Hey, how are you doing? Are there any mothers out there who are surviving half term? Woo! <laughs> I've just got a few um, moments. Hey, Manuel, how are you doing, Shepherd? Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, so I've got a few spare moments and I thought to myself, I'm going to talk to um, you guys today, um, especially all my self-employed friends who have, um, you know, taken the chance and, and stepped out of um, the comfort of knowing that you have a salary, you have someone uh, paying towards your uh, <laughs> retirement. Hey, Manuel, that's tough, isn't it? <laughs> And, um, yeah, just, you know, stepped out there um, into the big, wide-open world. Um, perhaps it's, you know, to, to make it easier with your family life. Perhaps it's really to pursue um, your, your dreams and do what you really love. Um, perhaps it's just to make money. <laughs> um, and just, you know, tired of um, working for someone else. But... Today I just wanted to talk about uh, building on the rock um, and that topic, I just thought about it um, over the last week where I've had several inquiries from people, um, just happy to get a deeper understanding of what's actually available, how do things work um, and demystifying everything. And I think last uh, session I did, I talked about Mr. and Mrs. Sheep, how they were out there as sheep amongst the wolves um and today i just want to talk about um mm -hmm. building on a rock so most people who've stepped out there into the you know big wide open world of working for yourself it is a big risk you know there's no security or comfy you know stuff to fall back on um as you build um your business as you build um, your investments, as you build uh, your child's future, whatever you're doing it for. Um, and uh, I just want to quickly read that scripture I found earlier on today, which, um, hey, hey, my my website is finally live. I, I'm told, actually, I've been working on this for months and trying to get it through compliance and stuff, so... Hopefully, I'll be able to share it with you at the end of this, which is really exciting. Um, trying to keep up with technology and um, information and everything. So, yeah. Great. So, yeah, so this is in Matthew 7, verse 24 to 29. I'm going to have to put my glasses on for this. Um, where... Jesus is uh, talking to people and he says, Hey, Bonnie, um, therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who builds his house on a rock. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But whoever hears these sayings of mine and does not do them, he will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on that house, and it fell. And great was the fall. So, in life, <laughs> I don't know if anyone wants to tell you that you'll never get any storms, but storms will come. The rain will beat down, you know. Um, and as you're building your life, as you're, you know, creating a, a future for you and your family, my question to you is when those things happen, where will you stand? Have you been building on a rock or have you been building on sand? So a rock talks of solidity. It is a, a solid substance. It's, a, it's, a, you know, it's something that you can stand on um, and it won't be easily be moved. Um, and sand talks of you know, 
sand is, it's tiny granules, but literally, you know, it's not concise. It's not altogether there. Um, and what I want to just encourage us as we watch this, as we think about it, is what solid things have I put around my ch family's finances? So, you know, you've gone and got a job, you've gone and started a business that is absolutely fantastic. Um, and I guess that bit of when the storms come, you know, when the rain descends, what shields have you got in place? Um, and I always marvel at how we all love to get the latest iPhone, uh, the latest uh, car, the latest gadgets, and we are certain to make sure we've got insurance on them. Man, oh, my iPhone 6, oh my gosh, I need to make sure it's insured. I'm paying £10 a month for this. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, that is just a piece of phone. That is worth, you know, 500 to 800 pounds, perhaps. Mm -hmm. um, and to be fair, if it's actually not really generating a lot of people any money. So in terms of, is it really an asset? Unless you, like me, work with your phone. Most people, it's for social purposes. Um, and actually, you are the number one asset that is out there. If you, for any reason, fail to go out and get that money, everything is going to struggle. You are that cash-generating um, machine that's bringing home every month 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000. And the minute you're not able to do it for any reason, that money stops coming in. So in view of that, what rocks have you, are you standing on? in case the rain falls, in case the flood comes, in case the storm hits, um, when it does, where do you stand? Um, when I have conversations with people, I love it when someone says, oh yeah, my mom will help, oh my sisters will take care of me, oh I've got family there, we're very tight family. And I always ask, well, if your family is so tight, why are they not just taking care of you now? They have their own plans, they have their own commitments, they have their own things that they need to do. Um, why would you put, yourself, put them under pressure unnecessarily when you can do something about it yourself? You know? um, and looking at the rocks in your life is what stable things can I implement in my life to make sure that you know, if the unforeseen were to take place, if the unexpected things, because all these things are always unexpected. Um, and, and, and when I talk about um, planning, especially the protection side of things, I laugh and people say, oh, I, I'm never sick. I'm always well. And I say, yep. Neither was the person who just got diagnosed of uh, you know, a critical illness or a serious illness or that person who just broke their leg and can't go to work for three months. <laughs> you know, their legs were straight and fine. They were good. They'd never been ill until that happened. Um, so just encouraging you to just think about that a little bit um, of where do you stand and surely if you are that cash making money bringing in vehicle is that not worth more than your iPhone is that not worth more than your sky package uh, sky box insurance in case the sky box <laughs> breaks down you know so getting your priorities right in terms of taking care of the most important things first um, because when we fall into disastrous times financially you know half the time it's not because people have been stupid or reckless or just plain irresponsible but life has happened something that they weren't expecting has taken place and you know you're forced or put into a position where you know <laughs> that money is not coming in anymore and there is nothing worse in my view than being ill and worried about what's actually happening in my body or am I going to come out of this am I going to recover from this and at the same time maybe being in hospital or just being at home people coming in with some bananas and apples saying oh my sister I hope you'll feel better soon <laughs> um, really the letters for the mortgage are coming in and you just know that you don't have that thousand pounds to pay that mortgage bill. You know that you don't have, you know, that um, money to even maintain that phone bill anymore, you know.
So when you finally, hey Patricia, good to see you. Um, you finally recover, you finally get well, but there is a trail of things that you now have to worry about. So you've dealt with the physical ailment, but now you have the psychological and mental issues of worrying about money. I think, you know, people say money makes the world go around. <laughs> Most of the issues, I I love this uh, scripture in, in Ecclesiastic that says, you know, alcohol makes you merry, um, you know, wine, yeah, make wine makes you happy, but, you know, money answers all things. You know, if you sit down right now and think of the worries that you have or the problems that you have, um, most of them, most of them, I'm not saying all of them, but most of them, money can tackle them. It's always like, oh. I need a new car or my boiler's go gone or, you know, oh, my kids. If you had the money there, most problems, I'm not saying all of them, but most of them would not be there. Um, and you are that individual who is bringing that wealth in. You are that individual who has the talents, who has the gifts, who has the know-how, who has the intellect, you know, who has the hands that are blessed to go out and get your possessions. Um, so it is key to make sure that whatever you are doing make sure that you are taken care of you are the number one asset you are the number one priority as you review things in your life take care of the most solid things um, which is yourself you know you your family the things that you cannot help are the storms of life that will come and hit make sure that they are taken care of and then everything else as you build uh, you know, as you enter into the things that God has promised for you, you're more likely to get there, regardless of the, I call them the Hittites, the Amalekites, <laughs> you know, the Jebusites that the children of Israel had to, you know, battle through to, to, to possess their position in the promised land. So it's, you know, before you get that property of yours, before you build that estate, you know, there's some hurdles and obstacles that you're going to be facing. Um, and you know, when you're fit and you're well and you have a sound mind, that's great. But if you're not well, there are things that you should, you know, think about when you are well, because these things can only be addressed when you are well. When you're ill, it's too late. You know, uh, I know someone last week, you know, that just found out that, you know, they got the big C. Um, and they are an agency staff. They work as an agency nurse, limited company. So the worry was really what am I going to do? I've been earning four grand a month. What am I going to do? That money, I can't go to work physically, can't get out of bed as much as you want to. Um, and someone was actually, t uh, someone was telling me of someone who, they're on chemo, but they come into work and then they're sick and they're vomiting, but they've got three kids and they're a single parent. You know, and that just broke my heart because the reality is those kids, need food on the table they need food on the plate um and there's very you'll find out very quickly i know a lot of people say oh the state will help very quickly that what the state will give you is nowhere near enough what you actually need to make it okay you know um so i'm just encouraging you out there if you haven't done that test if you haven't looked to see whether your finances or your you know yourself you're building your house on rocks. You're putting some stable, tangible things that you can point and say, right, that is this. That will take care of me if I'm ill. That will make sure that if I'm not around, my kids are fine. That will if you're not doing that, I urge you to do that. Don't build you know, your life on sand. Um, don't build your finances on sand things, things that are not tangible, things that you cannot hold, things that cannot, you know, a rock if you take it and there's some something in the way you throw it and it'll smash the obstacle, you know what I mean? So I just encourage you today to make sure you, you put something in place, make sure you think about your situation. Um, all my self-employed friends out there, yes, it's great, you're earning so much more money, especially the nurses. Um, you know, the jobs are out there, so it's just a matter of picking up the phone and you're at work. But, you know, they don't pay you that much for nothing. They pay you that much to take care of this, you know. When you're in the NHS here in England, you know, there's so many benefits of being employed, which actually on paper are worth a lot of money. 
But when you're out there and you're doing it yourself, it really means that you need to be thinking about these things yourself. So um, I hope this has helped somebody. Um, I also just wanted to tackle another thing um, that someone asked me the other day, and as a few people were asking, where they were concerned, saying, oh gosh, you know what, um, I'm diabetic, or I've got a, a particular illness uh, in place, so what, what's going to happen to me? Will someone cover me? Um, it's never, ever worth lying whenever you look at these, these covers. The advantage of someone like myself, I'm able, once you tell me what is wrong, I can look on the market and go to the specific people who I know specialize in that area for you. Um, so whatever you put in place, make sure it's solid. There's no point in going there and not telling the truth or withholding that information, thinking, yeah, 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 I'm just, I'm covered, because that is sand. <laughs> that is sand. It's not solid. It's not um, going to actually help you out when you need it to. Um, so, yeah, that's my two cents for today. Um, I'm looking forward to more of us, you know, building on solid, stable um, finances for ourselves. You are the number one asset. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys.